How's it going guys? It's Darren with muzzleloaders.com and I think that it is about time that we had a conversation about all of the twist rates in muzzle loading right now. But before we get started, it looks like most of you watching this video are not subscribed. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click the bell to receive notifications whenever we post content, and let's get into it. For this video, we're going to break all of the twist rates up into 148 and above, 148 and below, and then we'll pick it up at 1 and 28, then 1 and 24, and then 1 and 22. And the reason we're doing that is because there are so many twist rates around the 1 and 48 mark. So let's start with 1 and 48 twist and slower, and this is primarily designed for round balls. Uh, the twist rate is just too slow to properly stabilize a conical bullet but it's perfect for round balls. Conversely, 148 and faster is designed for conical bullets only, and you'll probably have some inconsistencies with shooting a patched round ball. That's not to say you can't do it because I have done it on several occasions and had pretty good results, but ideally, if you wanna use a patched round ball, I would go with something that is 1 in 48 or slower. Now this begs the question, what about everything that's 1 in 48 twist, because that's one of the most popular twist rates in traditional muzzle loaders, and the answer is, 1 in 48 can kind of do both. It'll shoot a conical bullet, but it's also slow enough to where you can be pretty consistent with a round ball. And so if you're looking for something that you can go both ways, a 1 in 48 twist is perfect. Now let's talk about 1 in 28 inch twist. And that's been the standard for inline muzzleloaders for quite a few years now. And it works well with pretty much every 50 caliber conical projectile out there but it does struggle with some of the higher ballistic coefficient bullets. And with bullets like the ELR on the rise in popularity, that has led muzzleloader manufacturers to speed up their twist rates so that they can better stabilize those bullets. And that leads us into one and 24 inch twist, and that has recently spiked in popularity because of the new Traditions Vapor Barrels. And uh, it's a very nice happy medium between one and 22 and one and 28 where it will stabilize pretty much every conical projectile that's on the market. It's just very versatile in that way. We've tested this twist rate with ELRs and with standard conical projectiles, and both performed well. Now for the last one on our list, and that's one in 22 inch twist rate, and that's found primarily in, in muzzleloaders like the uh, CVA Paramount, or the Acura LRX 45 Cal, or some of those long range muzzleloaders. And the one in 22 inch twist rate stabilizes high ballistic coefficient bullets extremely well, so that you can have long range accuracy with those high BC bullets. Now this begs the question, can you use a high ballistic coefficient bullet like the ELR in a one in 28 inch twist muzzleloader? And the answer is yes. However, if you wanna get good performance out of it, you'll have to use a Magnum charge because you'll need that extra velocity in order to stabilize that bullet. So now just to summarize everything, if you're wanting to shoot a round ball, go with a one in 48 inch twist muzzleloader or slower. If you wanna shoot a conical bullet, one in 48 inch or faster. One in 28 inch is the most common and works well with pretty much everything. One in 24 is even more diverse and you can use almost every bullet, even the high ballistic coefficient bullets in a one in 24. And then you have the one in 22, which is very targeted at high ballistic coefficient bullets and works very well at long ranges. Well, that's about all I had for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and I wanna know what twist rate you like to use. So drop that in the comments below. Also, feel free to reach out via social media, and we'll see you in the next video.